think Afro Sheen got something in their product that just might give us our curl back. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. Hey, superstars, it's your girl Malika, aka Ms. Magic, back with another hair video. Today I'm doing something different and I'm actually excited about it. I'm going to be reviewing um, Curlbox, which is a subscription box for natural hair products. But first guys, let's before we get started, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. I hope you stay, check out a couple of my videos, check out this video, last video, the videos from last week. And um, if you really, really like it, please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Don't forget to hit the like button, thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so that you can see when I upload a new video. I upload videos weekly. And if you are returning, welcome back superstars, my family. See, if you become a superstar, you are my family. I love you guys. So now let's really get started. So it is May. And um, I'm not actually subscribed to the box yet. You have to, it's a waiting list. So I'm on that waiting list. I miss um, subscribing for May in April because I was too late. So hopefully in this month, I'll be able to subscribe for June's box. But they do allow you to order past previous boxes. So I have ordered the March box and this is how it comes. Hope y'all didn't see my address, but I blocked that out. Anywho. So how it comes is like this. Let me show you guys. Curl box. This is the box there, how it comes. And I'm going to review it. And so let's open it up. This is an unboxing. And it's going to be reviewed because what I'm going to do is I will be doing a wash and go on it. So let's open her up. Okay. Okay, guys. So when you open the box up, this is what it looks like. It comes with a care card. And this is the person who does the box. I'll tell you her name in a minute. So it gives you a little card telling you exactly what's in the box. It says, hey, girl, curl friend, curl friend. Isn't that cute? Show off your style. We want to see how you use the product in this month's box. Okay. And then it'll tell you, gives you the description of what's in the card. So the young lady's name who has started Curlbox name is Myleek. And that's her right there. And this is the iconic box featuring Afro Sheen. As you see right there. And so these are all the products that are available through the Afro Sheen hair care line. Y'all don't know nothing about Afro Sheen. If you do, scream out the uh, tag line they used to use. Afro Sheen. That was back in the day, baby. But this is the new line that they have for natural hair product. And we're going to check this out today. So when you open up the box, this is how it comes. It comes with Velvet Flow 4-in-1 Leave-In Conditioner. Then it has a 3-in-1 Nourishing Oil, which we're going to try. Then it came with Afro Shane Slick Back Cream Styler. I don't know if you all can see that. And then we have a foam wrap. And these all look like full-size products, so that's good. Texture Flexing Foam, a foam wrap, which I do not use in my wash and goes, but this will be good for my clients at work. And then, see, y'all don't know nothing about that Afro Sheen Pick, baby. That's the old school right there. And the last thing they send you is the Texture Setting Cream Gel. So we are going to try all of these products today. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this is day seven of a wash and go, which was, it's died a long time ago. Don't scream when I take this off. Yeah, so this is day seven. This is what my hair looks like I've been working out. I usually have this strapped over to the side like this, you know, a little whatever. So, woo, Lord, child, baby. 
yeah so we're gonna get this washed and conditioned um so the afro sheen does not come with shampoo or conditioner in the box they have one but they just didn't give it to me so i'm going to use my uh, Ryan my trusty Ryan. dusty aussie shampoo and conditioner which i love so let's get started on that Okay guys, this is how my hair looks fresh out the shower. Uh, it has conditioner in it. I'm gonna leave it in and put a cap on. Um, it's nicely detangled, it's got a lot of spring already. This is the back, as you can see. And like I said, I am a uh, straight natural. I wear my hair silk pressed all um, winter, all, yeah, winter long, because it gets cold and I like my hair straight. So I do wrestle with these straight hands, but that's okay because I just roll the ends up with a roller and I, I make it do what I do. But as you see, the rest of my hair is very curly. Um, I still have those straight hands. Sorry about my lighting, y'all, because this natural light is, is doing what it do. Same thing on the other side. I only have the problem with the straight ends, but this is me right out the shower. I am going to put a plastic cap on my hair for about 20 minutes, and then we can get started with the wash and go process with the Afro Sheen. I just wanted y'all to see what it looks like as soon as I get out uh, of the shower. And these are my curls. I don't really know. Like I say, I wrestle with that chart all the time because the chart is not really real. It's just something that was made up. So I'm gonna say I'm a 3C48, that's what I am. So, okay, I'll be back with the Afro Sheen products in just a minute, 20 minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. I've let my regular conditioner sit in my head for 20 minutes. So let's get started on using the Afro Sheen products. Okay, so this is after 20 minutes of leaving the conditioner in, and I am going to leave the Aussie in. This time, last time I washed it out, I'm gonna leave it in. And um, so we're gonna do the LOC method with that. And then I'm going to diffuse it. And then I'm going to put my little rollers on my straight ends so you all can see the finished product. So first, we're gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner. And this is not a creamy one. It's kind of liquidy, but it, it does have like a little cream consistency. I'll show you guys. So it's liquid, but you know. So we gotta spray it all throughout our head. And I'm gonna comb it through with the wide tooth comb. Make sure we get it all through so we can give it a decent review. But then I'll show y'all the back of my hair, how bad, how disrespectful my shrinkage is. My shrinkage is so disrespectful, but that's why I wear my hair straight because my shrinkage is disrespectful. Um, okay, I gotta get a wide tooth comb, hold on. Okay, so now I got the wide tooth comb. We're just gonna comb the leave through, leave in, all the way through our end to our ends, all the way through. I tend to head it. I don't know if I mentioned that. I very tend to head it. So make sure y'all get it all the way through, like such. gonna take the oil the oil is the three in one nourishing oil I don't know what the three in one is but this has Jehovah oil to hydrate I guess that's it Jehovah oil to hydrate vitamin E to moisturize and argon oil for a shine no sulfate mineral oil petroleum or phosphates all right and it says it's for the hair scalp and beard so since it has a little nozzle I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in like this all throughout and then I'm gonna massage it through always massage your oil through your hair it stimulates growth and healthy hair so I'm putting it in you know the consistency like that then I'll put a little bit on the actual hair for shine for shine all right let's massage the oil in Ooh, that feels so good massage it in all the way through I told y'all by the end of the summer, my little straight ends are going to curl back up. They usually do. But like I said, by the time summer is over and all this curls back up, I'm going to 
going right back to straight. So what's the point? All right. All right. Okay, once you get that in, I'll put a little bit more on my actual hair. So, okay. Get your, if you ain't got no edges, massage those edges, girls. Get y'all edges back. I got edges, but yeah. Massage those edges. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the gel. Now, the gel is called Texture Setting Cream Gel. And I already looked at it. It's one of those white gels. So I don't know how it's gonna do. It's not a clear gel. I'm gonna show it to you all. I can open it. So this is, well, it's not white. It's like a purple, purple bluish. So what I'm going to do is section my hair into four. Be back when I section it into four. I'm gonna section my hair into four before I grab it. Okay, I've sectioned my hair into four. We're gonna start with the back. Um, so we're gonna start with this side. I'm gonna start from the bottom and just put uh, put the gel all the way through. And I think I'm going to finger, not finger coil it. I'm gonna use the comb and put it all the way through. So let's get started with that. I'm gonna be liberal. I'm gonna be liberal with my parts. So comb it through with the wide tooth comb first. Then what I think I'm gonna do today right, is use this. Nah, my hair ain't gonna cooperate with that because I was gonna twist it. Nah, it's gonna hurt too bad. I told y'all I'm tender headed. Trying something new for y'all and knowing my hair ain't gonna do it. So I'm gonna finger coil it. I'm doing just two pieces per coil. And once it's all the way dry, I'll separate the curl. Um, so it's a consistency. I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit. Um, I don't know. It's like gel, so it's cool. I like the way it feels. I definitely like the way it feels. And what I'm gonna do is try to try to minimize my hair from coiling so tightly. I'm gonna smooth it down, but. By the end of this wash and go, it's gonna look like a big afro anyway. All right, I'm gonna do one more big, kind of big chunk section. And like I said, I'm breaking that down into two. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my whole head. I'm gonna speed this up and y'all enjoy the music while, while I do. Told me one day I'd be famous. Remember when she used to say she hates us? That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Right inside a basement. Set his boy ounce to where Okay, guys, I'm done with the back. So this is how it looks. I, I, I think I'm impressed, but guess what? The proof is going to be in the pudding. Um, this is finger coil, so um, yeah, I'm liking it. I'm, I'm liking the way it's curling. I think my curls are gonna be pretty dope, if I must say so myself. All right, well, let's continue on with the front. Told me one day I'd be famous. Remember when she used to say she hates us? That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists. So one day I'll be stomping on those stages. But right now we just dancing in the basement. Fuck that. When I get that paper, I'm gonna keep a strap. Fuck you. I can't let nobody go and take my stacks. Bitch, you saw us back. You can go and sell my nurse. I can't look back because you know I'd be above that. Uh. I like bitches, uh, yeah, that like bitches, uh, yeah. put a spell on me, ooh, they some wishes, uh, that my baby, that my lady, oh, and she go and drive me to the fucking mall, she like Rachel, but I ain't no Ross, I'm a guard, huh? that's on me, I got this shit on lock, it's appalling, how I kill this shit, just like Starling, 
So pop me up some more, going on it. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that page. Okay, guys, so this is the full twist out. Not twist out. What am I calling? I, I don't know what I call myself. My twirls. Or my wash and go. Because this helps me retain my curl. It, it, it um, lays down the, the roots because my roots get so poofy. So this is it all over. Like I say my back is super curly. This side is um, taking longer for my curls to bounce back. And this side, which I know is same because the last time I did a wash and go, this side was just as straight as this side. And now I'm starting to get curl over here, which is great. But no matter because it's still going to be curls over here. So what I'm going to do now is get under the dryer for about 15 minutes, let my roots dry, and then I'm going to start diffusing. And what I'm going to do halfway through diffusing is put these little rollers on my ends, which is going to curl that right on up. So let's go get under the dryer for 15 minutes. Oh, and right quick, I want to show you exactly how much gel I used. Um, I want to say I used a third of it. So I did use a, a lot, and my hair is not long. So if you got long hair, you damn near gonna use the whole jar. I'm not really, even really sure how much the jar costs by itself, but one thing I can say, I am really liking this gel. I'm loving it. So yeah, this might be a staple. I'm not sure, but let's see when the twist out is finished. Y'all, I don't know if y'all see this, but this was completely straight last week. Like nothing. Like I know it's not the same as my curl pattern up top, but I think Afro Sheen got something in their product that just might give us our curl back. I have some straight pieces in the back. I'm not seeing anything straight. All of it is curling up. This side, my problem area, yeah, it's still straight, but I mean, when I tell you this was straight, like relaxed straight last week, look, y'all see that? Y'all see that? My hair didn't do that last week. I did a Blueberry Bliss uh, review last week, wash and go, and my hair was totally straight on the ends. I had to scrunch. I have not scrunched my hair yet. I ain't did no scrunching. All I did was sit under the dryer. I'm, okay, I'm freaking out because I think Afro Sheen done found me how to restore our curls, our memory pattern. Okay, okay, don't freak out, don't freak out. But this is only, I've been wearing a silk press for seven, eight months, and my hair was straight. My curl pattern memory loss was gone. And, okay, I'm not gonna freak out. Just gonna continue to dry it. I'm going back under the dry, y'all. I have not even scrunched my hair. Look at that, I haven't scrunched it. You see that? Look, look. You see? You see that? Okay, let's finish drying. Let's finish drying until we get all excited. Okay, guys. So, like I said, I am really feeling this Afro shade. So, what I do now, like I said, I didn't have any kind of curl right here, but it's still kind of straight. So, what I do now, uh, my scalp is dry. So, before I diffuse, I roll up the straight ends with rollers. Um. So something like this, roll it up. It's a little hack. A hack, roll it all the way up until all right there. That's where everything curls. Same here. And I usually just use little perm rods or my little rollers that I have this size because that's about the size of my actual like one of my curls so you can see i'll show you one of my curls in the back <clears throat> so yep about this size so just go ahead and roll up all these little straight ends before we get the ends. Okay, and so from there, we're gonna kind of just diffuse the rest of it until it's dry in the back, and then we'll pull our little coils apart and see how we do.
Okay guys, so this is after I take out the rollers that I put in. Let me show you one. Um, after about 20 minutes, it starts to curl up. But you want to take it down because you want it to kind of air dry. So that's that. So this is my straight ends hack. Um, now, I am going to say, like, when you wake up and you refresh your wash and go, you are going to have to use your rollers for maybe just like 10 minutes. You spritz a little water on there and then you roll it up and it goes curly. So this is a bigger roller, so it's going to give me a bigger curl. I got to, let you see, yeah, that's a big curl. But I got to get more of these little blue rollers, which I definitely have at the shop. I don't know why I'm going home. So, ooh, ooh, this is super wet. So I don't think this is gonna give me a curl. Give me a little curl. We are gonna let that air dry. This is, remember, this is my bad side. This is the side that's a little straighter than the other side. But as you see, it curled up, but we have to, we have to let that dry. So I am gonna go back in and diffuse this. Is that gonna Okay, I'm scared to take this one. This is a big roller. I have to go get some smaller rollers. Yeah, that's going to be too big of a curl. So what I'm going to do is put this boy in there so I can get a more, a smaller curl like that one. Okay. I'm going to roll that up and we're going to let that air dry for about 10 more minutes. All right. And then this one will probably be okay because this, this is my longer side. I don't mind a bigger curl here. But we're going to let that air dry as well. Okay, so that is the hack, as you see. All my natural curl is up here, and then I did a little hack. I think I'll put a little small one in this too. Spray a little, spray a little water on that though, because this, this meal is all the way dry. So just a little bit of water on that, and then roll it up with the smaller roller. So it will do the curl pattern there. It will give me that. See, that's my natural curl pattern. And then these are my straight ends. I'll just put a little bit of water on there. And I'm going to roll it up. What's going on? Why isn't that working? One second. I'm going to roll that up to where the curl, where my natural curl pattern is. About to right there. And because your hair is already naturally curly, it's not going to take that long, so we are almost done. I see one little, I'll do this one too. I'll take out a little, yeah. A little water, just a little. And then we'll roll this one up as well. Oops. And I think I want to do this little juicy right here, because she, she too big. That looks unnatural. I have to bring more blue rods home. So I'm gonna take this one and roll her up a little bit tighter because she's still wet. You know what? Let's let's separate that into two. It's too much. That's the problem too. It's too much. It's too much. We're gonna separate that. It's too much hair in one spot. Okay. And put her in right here. So we can get a little more curl. Okay, so once these dry, the rest of, I'm gonna diffuse some more. The rest of my hair should be dry, it's almost there. A little crunchy, not too crunchy. I don't know, if you like crunchy hair, fine, but it's not crunchy, and I don't know if it's because I left my conditioner in on top, but it looks like it's gonna feel great. So, okay, we're gonna let those, the hack, the curl hacks dry, but as you see, that is a very good curl hack because that is very close to my natural pattern. Okay, so we're gonna let it dry a little bit more. I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is the finished product after my little roller hack that I used to roll my straight ends. This is the back, I don't need any rollers on that. Um, my hair is, I'm gonna say 97% dry, but I'm just so frantic to see this look that I'm going to go ahead and Take it apart anyway, which you know you're not supposed to do until it's 100% dry, but I'm about to do it because I got to see how well this turned out. 
So we're going to take some more of the Afro Sheen. And I'm telling you guys, like, this is, this is amazing. My curl is, is amazing because y'all saw it, how straight it was when we first started. And now, even before the roller hat, it's, it's, it's great. So let's take it apart. I'm going to use some more of the uh, 3-in-1 Nourishing Oil. And I'm just going to put that all enough like that. Maybe like a um, a nickel, a nickel size, a dime to a nickel size, all over for shine, and it gives great shine. It really does. Okay, so we're gonna start in the back, right here, and we'll just um, unfinger them. And like I said, you really suppose to wait till your hair is 100% dry, but my hair is so curly anyway; it's gonna curl right back up even if it wasn't dry. But if your hair isn't as curly as mine, make sure it's 100% dry. Because in the back, it'll get frizzy. But I needed to see. So let's check it out. Ooh, it's wet too. Okay, y'all. Yeah. So, this is me all fluffed out. It was gonna take me too long to do it um, on camera, but did Afro Sheen just restore my natural curl pattern just like that? I mean, yeah, I put rollers on the ends, but come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I ain't looked at the back, but I don't know what that's looking like. But, oh my God. Oh my, look. Gorgeous. This is my curl pattern, y'all. Y'all see this? Y'all see that? Ooh. I gotta stop picking at it because I'm starting to get it frizzy. I'm gonna do the edge control. Oh goodness. Do y'all see this? I think Afro Shade just gave me my curl pattern back. Whatever they done put in this stuff. I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. I thought it was gonna take me all summer to get my curl pattern back. Um, they kind of just did it like in one swoop. Do you see this? I don't mind the frizziness because I'm I'm going picking crazy. Okay, let's let's try this uh, edge stuff they got. I doubt if it worked because it's too um it's too soft. see what the back is. Oh, I'm like okay so I just used a little bit of this um afro sheen slick back whatever and I put it here I'm not having any confidence with it so what I'm going to do is go back with the the blueberry bisque control paste because I did like that I was not impressed with their washing though but I was impressed with this curl paste so I'm going to use that, I think, and put a little bit in there and do some baby hairs with that. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to do my baby hairs with that. And then I'm going to show y'all the final look, okay? I'll be right, right back. Okay, y'all, so this is my final look with the Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, but Afro Sheen did they. Okay, you hear me? I'm look at this. Look at this. Look at my curls. Look at this. This is yeah. Look at that. Do y'all y'all comment below and tell me did Afro Sheen do that shit? I'm gonna show y'all a picture of my wash and go. My first wash and go of the season, right here. This was the first one I did seven days ago with Blueberry Bliss, all Blueberry Bliss products. This is the wash and go, and I did. I did not. To be fair, I did not roll my little ends that were so straight because there were so many of them. Whereas this week, when I did it, there was only like a few. So I rolled those up. But I'm going to be honest with you. My series was going to be a weekly um, 
wash and go with different products and I was going to review it every week and see how my curl pattern, I don't want to use nothing else. I don't want to use nothing else. I don't want to use nothing else but Afro Sheen. But I'm still going to try other products. I'm still going to come to y'all with reviews. But y'all see this. Come on now. Y'all see this. This is freaking gorgeous. This is amazing. Yep. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about this product because I was actually scared to use it because other people were kind of slamming it. But I'm an old school Afro Sheen girl. Afro Sheen. I remember that baby, the pick. Where the top at? The pig baby used to be in the little Afro. Afro Sheen. They did me right. They did me right. You see me. Afro Sheen. All right, guys. I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.